As we head closer to the European Championships, the question on everybody's lips is, can France win Euro 2020? In this video, we're going to see just how far they can go in this summer's spectacular. Once again with another video today it's all about euro 2020 as we take a look at a nation's hopes of the tournament this summer we'll see just how far they get of course in my eyes uh, when the tournament kicks off in june we'll talk about that in a minute of course a big shout out to the vips the patrons behind the scenes thank you for your continued support i do appreciate that guys and of course if you want to join yourselves check out the links down below patreon.com forward slash but today it's all about France, boys and girls, and that's right, at the end of this, I hope to answer a couple of questions for you. Can France win Euro 2020 and will France win Euro 2020? Well, again, uh, difficult question to ask because, you know what, they've got a difficult group. We'll have a look at that group in just a second. But before all that, we'll take a look at how France got to this stage. Of course, they got here by uh, qualifying as Group H winners. That's right. Difficult group as well, but uh, coming through pretty much unscathed. Uh, one defeat, of course, uh, losing to Turkey, I believe. Who was that? It was, uh, it was, no, was it Turkey? Was it, uh, it was Turkey in Turkey. 2 no loss there. But uh, yeah, besides all that, not a bad, not a bad performance bomb from France as well. France and Turkey both made it through. Iceland, though, unfortunately, did not get anywhere uh, after crashing out in the old uh, playoffs as well. Albania, also not a bad nation, but unfortunately fell short this time around. Of course, this will, uh, uh, they sealed the deal on the 14th of November 2019, and this will be their 10th championships, of course. Uh, La France have uh, competed, of course, in 1960, 84, 92, 96, 2004, 8, 12, and 2016. They've been there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth uh, tournament in a row now, and they've won it twice back in 84 and again in 2000. They're due one, lads. They're due another one. Uh, it, it could be them. Of course, they are the World Cup winners, World Cup holders right now, and they fancy the chances to maybe add a bit more bling to that uh, to that trophy cabinet as well. They did, uh, like I said, win back in 84 and 2000. Their manager is Didier Deschamps uh, these days. And of course, currently ranked by the FIFA rankings in number two behind Belgium, of course, uh, with uh, with uh, Hugo Lloris, uh, the captain's arm. And the best player, though, is, of course, Kylian Mbappe. Uh, but it's not all about him. They've got some real other quality players. Of course, uh, Rafael Varane at the back there. Paul Pogba as well. Griezmann. Uh, who else they got in there? Kamave Venga. Also, another youngster, 18 years of age hot top hot prospect could be making his way to the tournament as well you just don't know so they're blessed with talent they've got a whole host of talent that that may not even make it to the euros but of course they could also be uh, knocking on the door for Qatar 22 this could be a dress rehearsal for back-to-back -back world cups it could also be a, 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 a stint where france are uh, dominating international football for a long time because they, it's, there doesn't seem to be an end at the moment for the amount of talented players coming out of France at the moment. Um, let's take a look at their record though uh, for, for their for uh, compared to the other European nations. Here we go boys, here we go. Of course, the France, the French finishing high but not that high. A bit of an upset really. Down to seventh for them. Uh, better than the likes of Poland, Switzerland and Croatia but not as good as Spain, Germany or even England uh, uh, with of course one defeat to the name to 19 points out of uh, whatever whatever this, this, this system is. Of course, let's take a look at their passage potentially into the old latter stages, of course, out in Group F. It is the group of death. Uh, take it on, of course, Portugal. Uh, Germany and of course Hungary uh, and this group does have two host nations with Germany playing three of the, all three of their group games at home Hungary playing two of them as well so Portugal and France have got a little bit of extra work to do uh, as they will not have the backing of the fans if fans are allowed in the stands uh, of course so yeah let's take a look at the fixtures then heading into this kicking it off with a bit of a banger up against Germany in Germany of course we'll of course preview the games uh, match predictions all that kind of stuff for the, for the Euros and of course we'll have a look at their record against uh, the French uh, and Germans uh, against each other, of course, when that game comes around. Uh, their must-win game, though, for me, is against Hungary as well. Uh, to be fair, I think all the bigger nations, the, Hung the, 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 the French, the Portuguese and the Germany, they must beat Hungary to stand any chance to get through. Of course, the top two nations will go through. The third nation will, of course, go into a bit of a lottery. Uh, and for me, as a... Well, not really. I'm, I'm a German fan, but as a, as a football fan itself, I want to see all three of those guys get through to the latter stages, of course. I think any one of these three nations can win Euros. The Euro 2020 Hungary, though, are there to be upset. They're there to the cause some problems, of course. Well, they'll have the backing, especially in this match, uh, when they take on, uh, of course, La France in Hungary. Uh, what are the chances of... 
of the French winning back-to-back -back trophies, of course, winning the World Cups. Well, the odds are 60 to 1 that they'll qualify. And, of course, to win the trophy, 5 to 1 long shots. Well, not really long shots. A decent shot. They've got a decent uh, uh, chance here. I think they might even be favourites. Can win? Can France win the Euros? Yes, they bloody can. Uh, and it's, it's going to take a, a, sh a, a, a brave old man to bat against them. I ultimately think that they will not win it, though, because I've already made my pick. I've got to stand by my pick. Um, on paper, France are probably the best team in the world. They are better than Belgium. They are better than Spain. They are better than Italy, better than Germany. On paper, they have all the players. They've got more than enough players. They've got players, the top 10, top 10, top 15 ranked players uh, in their nation. A lot of them won't even be going. They're too young. They're too inexperienced. They're not ready yet. But they're, they're, they're still... They've got they've got players, 16, 18 year old players who will be uh, representing their nation in 10 years time have yet to yet to get going. But they they would walk into any other nation's teams. It's that balmy. France have got a wealth, a wealth of talent uh, at their disposal. I do anticipate a strong performance by France. I do see them getting to the semi-finals. But when you get to the semi-finals, folks. It's anyone's guess. It's anyone's guess. Everybody would want to win this trophy, especially a nation like an Italy, or like a Dutch, uh, the, the, the Netherlands, uh, or even an England. You know what I mean? Like a team that's desperate to do very, very well. They'll be desperate not to lose. France, you know what? They're already World Cup champions. This is kind of like a, um, you know, like a, a dress rehearsal for next season's or next year's World Cup, of course. They will want to win back-to-back -back World Cups. This one, of course, it would be fantastic to be kings of Europe heading into the Euro, to the World Cup in Qatar, um, but other nations will be desperate to win silverware to, to put themselves uh, in the spotlight once again for, for their own nation. But France, decent opportunity to win another trophy. Can they win it? Yes, indeed. Will they win it? No. I'm going to go against them purely because I've backed my boys, not my, about my boys, but back my pick. And I just think France will have a will get tripped up over the line. Uh, and then, to be honest with you, I think I think maybe Didier Deschamps might walk uh, if, if 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 they don't get to the semi-finals. He'll definitely be put under under scrutiny for their for their because they they've just they've just had a bit of a hiccup against um, in the Euros uh, in the World Cup qualifying. Sorry, uh, drawing their first game. I think it might have been against um, Ukraine. Maybe I, I don't know. Regardless of that, but yes, he might be under a bit of pressure. Didier Deschamps and there are there are there are managers waiting to take over. Maybe even Arsene Wenger. You just don't know. But anyway, that's what I think. I Happened with the French, but what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. There you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. If you agree or disagree, let me know your opinions out in the old comment section down below. And while you're at it, check out the description. I've got links to my other social media platforms. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitch, and I'm even on Patreon if you want to support the channel in another way. Again, we'll be covering the tournament uh, extensively over the summer. Of course, we've got uh, watch alongs, previews, predictions, of course, all of that stuff, and many, many more. So make sure you, of course, uh, smash your subscribe. And while you're at it, give the video a big, a big, big old fat thumbs up. Again, I'll see you all very soon for another one tomorrow. Tomorrow, until then, to... Well, there you have it, folks. There you bloody have it, of course. Uh, we'll have exclusive coverage for Euro 2020 over on the channel. Of course, we'll have match previews, match reviews, of course, watch-alongs and all kinds of stuff, including predictions as well. No. Well, there you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. If you agree or disagree, let me know your opinions in your comment section down below. And while you're at it, check out the description. I'm on, I'm on Twitter, Twitch. Well, there you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. Of course, if you agree or disagree, let me know your opinions out in the old comment section down below. And while you're at it, make sure you check out the old description. I've got links to my other social media platforms are on there. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, on Twitch as well. And if you want to check me out at Patreon, you can check that out as well. Also, our exclusive and extensive coverage of Euro 2020 this summer on the channel. We'll have, of course, previews. We'll have predictions, of course, watch-alongs as well. And, of course, we might even get a reappearance of Cass, the predicting cat, the real cat, not Digi Cass. Uh, but, of course, lots of stuff on the channel. So make Make sure you give the video a big old fat thumbs up while you're at it. And of course, make sure you smash the subscribe. Until then, I'll see you all very soon for another one. Until then, I'm out. <laughs>